Yes, speaking. Good, good, how are you? Awesome, thank you, I'll come up now. Okay, see you soon, thanks, bye. Is it time to go, go up? Going up? Oh my goodness, I wish I could give you a hug. I know, virtual hug. <laughs> virtual hug. <laughs> I'll leave my oh, My heart just started pounding. Thank you, Rocky. Right. Liv's just gone up to go get our embryo. It is 8 a.m. Friday the 7th of August. And the day of our embryo transfer, take two. Um, so this is our second embryo transfer with our gestational surrogate. It's weird to be sitting in the car waiting while Liv gets our embryo transferred, but <sighs> feeling a mixture of emotions, very hopeful and also quite apprehensive and a little bit guarded. I'm <sighs> really hopeful that this little embryo will be our baby, our rainbow baby that we have been waiting over six years for. Oh, this is the last PGS tested embryo that we have and we're just hoping, hoping, hoping that everything we've done, the ERA test, we're just hoping the stars align this time. I will need to check my phone in case leave messages. I am thankful to have been able to drive Live into this appointment. Uh, our clinic kindly wrote a letter for us to show if we did get pulled over because obviously Melbourne is in lockdown at the moment um, stage four so the letter just stated that we are in treatment together um, and we were both obviously wearing masks when we were around each other so um, I'm thankful to be able to at least drive her to the appointment and be out the front yeah there's not much more to say other than that um, I'm just gonna be waiting here for Liv to come down with our embryo I've tried to set aside All this longing but it won't hide I dream about you every night Winter cold, please hurry Bring him home before I worry And his face gets too blurry Hi, I just popped my my mask back on. Oh, did you? Which one How did you go? Oh my god. We did it again. Oh. Where? <laughs> it's so bright. I know. She said it was perfect placement, it was very clear. Perfectly Do you know what your lining was? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> What's D? D's 10 centimeters. I don't know what that is. Ah, oh, that's okay. I don't know. I'm sure it would have been fine. A week ago it was what? <coughs> 7? 7.4. Point four. Uh, wow. Yes. Oh my gosh. But I do have one bad news. Bad news? Bad news. My frame is full. Um, I cleared it all. That's okay. It still didn't work. That's all right. It's all good. It was good news. I was relieved. Good. But yeah. Anyway, let's go get your blood done. Yes. Blood Yay! Done. Embryos in. I don't know. Baby stick. Stick. Please. Baby we stick. love you. We yes. want to meet you. I want you to be a full babe. Mm hmm. Not just a blip. Thank you. Big Yay. virtual hug. I know. Virtual hug. hug. Rainy mountain. To get some confidence. How many okay, so we are back home now. I dropped Liv off after we got her bloods done to check her progesterone levels. We will probably get those results this afternoon and any changes to her progesterone will be made. But yeah, all went smoothly with the transfer, which is wonderful. While Liv was upstairs, I got a call from the embryologist. And I did go into a panic because they didn't call when Liv was up getting the transfer done last time. Anytime I hear from, it, from an embryologist on transfer day, 
if it's around transfer time. Um, we've had an embryo not survive thaw before, so I just immediately jumped to the conclusion that our embryo, our one PGS embryo, hadn't survived. But thankfully she was just calling to let me know everything went smoothly and beautifully. The embryo had expanded about 50%, which she said was wonderful. And yeah, all went well, so that was a relief. Unfortunately, there's no footage of the transfer being done. We were given a USB with the embryo developing, um, so the embryo was in an embryoscope. I will insert that footage at the end of this video. I just wanted to thank everyone so much for all of the prayers and well wishes and love. I have so many messages on Instagram and I will endeavour to reply but I'm just so thankful that everyone is keeping us and this little embryo in their prayers and yeah hopefully this is our rainbow baby finally. So yeah the two week wait officially begins. Our beta HCG blood test is on the 18th of August so we have a bit of a wait. Uh, Liv as a part of the protocol did a 10,000 unit trigger for ovulation, uh, pregnal trigger so we won't be doing any pregnancy tests because that trigger will still be in her system pretty much until the blood test date. Um, so we don't want to muck around with any false positives uh, and that kind of thing. We're just going to wait until the blood test, which is a first for me. I've never done that before, but I'm hoping that'll kind of eliminate a bit of the stress. Hopefully the two week wait will fly by and I will be sharing obviously um, as soon as we feel ready to. We will probably want to as a group absorb the results good or bad um, before sharing but I won't leave you wondering for too long. We are currently trying to work out a name for our little embryo. <sighs> Any suggestions leave them down below. I wanted something that kind of reflects bright light or I don't know hope, love, I don't know. I'm probably overthinking it. Luke and Liv's kids are getting so excited. Yesterday apparently they were making little mobiles that you hang above a cot for the baby and asking Liv what size the baby's wrist will be so they can make it a bracelet. So cute. Just praying this little embryo sticks and grows into a healthy baby. About a month ago I filmed a video kind of outlining our journey to date, our journey to baby to date. And it has been taking me a long time to get that video done. It's obviously been a long journey, but I am also including old footage from years ago in that video. And I also struggled sticking with it. I needed a break from it, uh, reliving all those memories. It probably made me a little bit depressed, if I'm honest. So I needed a bit of a break from making that video, but I'm going to get back into it because I really want to upload that in this two week wait um, and just get it done because it's been on my to-do list for ages and yeah it's about an hour long at the moment so I've got a lot of editing to do but um, I hope that will answer a lot of questions that I get and um, yeah be a good summary of what our journey has looked like thanks again for all of the prayers you guys are amazing we really really feel your support from all around we're so thankful for this community it is such a special thing to be a part of yeah. hopefully this transfer will bring a bit of light into a pretty crappy year love you all speak to you soon we'll be Bye. out to late under the stars shine I wish that I didn't have to wait Autumn leaves please hurry Before I start to worry And his face gets blurry No.
Oh, so. 